we got up bright and early at 6 a.m. I changed into my cute little overalls, ate breakfast, recorded a transition I never finished, and headed to the airport. Only to miss our 720 flight. This time, we got up so early, my light-up crocs almost blinded my eyes. Okay, okay, time for an airplane snack review sesh. First up, these quinoa chocolate crisps, pretty good, salty, and sweet. Next, we have a savory snack mix, which was basically Chex Mix. Very garlicky, 10 out of 10. And finally, this adorable mini fruit bar, which kind of tasted like a bunch of apples mushed together. I think it's crazy that you love me. I think it's crazy that you're mine. I don't know what you like about me, but I ain't going snow. After a super bumpy taxi ride through the hills, we checked into the hotel and rode a golf cart to our hotel room. Check this out, there are so many roosters everywhere. Okay, I am really, really hungry right now, so we're gonna go out to the restaurant and pick up some food to eat. groceries right now so my sister and I are going to go to the beach which is literally like right there like it's literally in the backyard the water is literally so cool there's like fishes everywhere if you walk up to the shore they'll like graze past your feet swimming calmly we keep it simple, got no questions about who's wrong or who's right. Hello, it is currently 7.05 and we just got back from playing at the beach and we showered as you can tell by my head towel and also very, very squeaky crocs. Listen to the sound effect. I'm not really hungry because we had a pretty big lunch, but I am very thirsty. And my parents were able to get water from the grocery store because they said it was too heavy to carry all the way back. So they boiled some water. But the problem is, look at how piping hot this water is. You can literally see the steam coming out of it. So yeah, I'll have to figure something out. I'm gonna go write a script for one of my videos now. This is pretty much the end of the night. By the way, can we just acknowledge how beautiful that sunset is? It looks like fire. <music> I started off my morning with a cheese flavored yogurt from the grocery store and despite its name it did not taste like mozzarella but rather a cheesecake. We then went to pay the fishies another visit. We ordered food from the hotel restaurant and checked out the nearby dive shop while we waited. Once the food was ready, we took it back to the hotel room to enjoy the comfort of air conditioning. Right now I'm on the deck. It's almost six o'clock now. I basically finished editing yesterday's vlog. 
and you can see my mom and little sister floating in the water. So I'm gonna get changed and then go play in the ocean with them. Let's go. I didn't bring my camera with me, so I don't have footage, but we did manage to see a bunch of sea turtles. After we got back, my dad cooked this egg and bell pepper dish, I ate it, and we ended the night watching Netflix. I spent most of the morning editing my vlog. We finally got a rental car, so my dad went to the grocery store and we chose what we wanted via FaceTime. After carrying the groceries inside, we went to the beach. Thus, adding two more animals to our sea creatures spotted list, the stingray and pufferfish. So how did I get from this bland hotel room to this gorgeous outlook? The answer is car. Lots of driving on winded roads up a mountain, so steep we thought we were going to die. The first outlook of the day was Paradise Point. We then drove to Mountaintop, the highest peak in St. Thomas, which also looks over Magan's Bay. Luckily, to save us from a heat stroke, there was a huge gift shop with decent air conditioning and cold drinks for sale. The third outlook we went to is called Drake's Seat, which overlooked the north side of Magan's Bay. Finally, we went to the Charlotte Amelie Outlook and fed these broken binoculars 50 cents. Grace said she saw an iguana as we passed by here, so I'm gonna see if we can find it. We were pretty hungry from staring at little houses all morning, so we drove into town for lunch and to go shopping. full of Caribbean food and caramel bars, we decided to pay Magan's Bay a little visit. A few hours in, to our surprise, it started pouring rain, and we found ourselves in the most breathtaking moment. And like many such moments in life, it soon left as suddenly as it came. The clouds parted ways to reveal the warmth of the evening sun. That is pretty much the end of the vlog for day four. We had so much fun checking out all those different outlooks and going to Megan's Bay. Definitely very, very tired. I'm gonna go shower and then watch some Netflix to finish off the night. We got up painfully early at 6 a.m. to ride a car ferry from St. Thomas to St. John. Our first stop was Trunk Bay ranked as the world's sixth best beach and easily the most beautiful landscape I've ever seen. I think it's crazy that you love me. I think it's crazy that you're mine. I don't know what you like about me, but I ain't going to waste no time. Cause... So I found this shell on the ground and I flip it around. I'm like, what is this? And there's literally a hermit crab inside. I see this giant claw poking out. And my dad looks around and realizes that there are hermit crabs everywhere. This place is so cool. We keep it simple, got no questions about who's wrong or who's right. I'm thinking there's just one direction for you and me that's life. 
We're leaving the beach now and I just showered. I don't know where we're going next, but I think it's either a beach or a trail or something. Life hack, always bring some moist towelettes because if you get your phone wet and the salt gets it all sticky, that is not fun. So I'm just wiping down everything that had salt water on it. After driving up the steep mountain, and I mean 45 degree angle steep mountain, we were all pretty pooped. So we're gonna go get lunch. just had lunch and it's about 3 30 right now my parents and my sister are down at the beach taking pictures so i'm gonna go down there too i just wanted to get in a little update for today the water is super pretty right now because the sun is very very bright so it's very hot outside but we're gonna try to get some cute pictures before we leave because today is our last day side note yesterday my nose was red like rudolph the reindeers because i got so sunburned i think i got pretty tan when we were up in the mountains doing the outlooks because we were basically out for the entire day and no amount of umbrellas can hide you from that much sun anyways i'm gonna go downstairs now i'll check back with you guys later if I did another umbrella transition, that would be so unoriginal and predictable because I already did one in this video. So I'm not going to. Told you. I am not going to do an umbrella transition. This bird just flew right. Oh, okay. Hello. How may I help you? Okay, hi. This bird is completely fearless. I know day six has been pretty anticlimactic, but we really just wanted to lay back and chill out for a few hours. My sister and I went out to take pictures in the beach at night, and we actually saw this giant stingray. It was so close to the shore, and it definitely scared me. I jumped right out of the water, but pretty cool. After visiting the beach one last time and finishing up the last bites of ice cream, we packed our bags and checked out of the hotel. We had some time to kill before we had to return our rental car, so we got some milkshakes and went to the grocery store. Hello everyone, I just got back from the airport, I've unpacked and now I have a huge pile of laundry to do tomorrow. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for sticking around all the way to the end of the vlog. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe and like for more videos like this in the future, and I can't wait to post my next vlog. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!